Hello everyone, my name is Converter Adeyemos. Thanks for watching our movies. We are very, very grateful. Even you seated right now to watch another film from Grace Villa Film Ministry, uh, powered by Converter Movie Production. We really appreciate you. For those who have subscribed, thank you. And those who have not yet subscribed, or you've been watching our movies, or you are just watching our movies, please subscribe now. Please subscribe. So that you will be notified immediately we upload new content. Uh, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and comment. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Me. Share, like, comment, and subscribe. Just make sure you did it for. And don't forget to click the bell icon. Um, why do you need to comment on our movies? We want to know what you have gained, what you have learned from those movies. Uh, also, we want to, if you have a constructive criticism on what you want us to improve on, yes, drop it at the comment section. Something that will encourage us and makes us, make us better in production or in delivery. Or maybe you notice something, let us know from the comment section. Or if our movie has blessed you one way or the other, tell the world, let other people also uh, be blessed through what you have learned from our movies. That is why you need to comment. Leave your comment at the comment section. Sit back and be blessed. Thanks for watching our movies once more. God bless you. Please do not forget that all our movies are subtitled. Just click the CC button, as you can see, on your YouTube channel to enable the subtitle. Thank you. Clara visiting the prison. After the women's prayer meeting today, we decided to pay Pastor Bayo a visit just to encourage him. Uh, uh, encourage him? Yes, Pastor uh, Bayo? Yes. Uh, uh, but when did you people start encouraging Pastor Bayo to keep on defiling the women in the church uh, uh, and all around? You called my life worthless. Oh! You, you see, that is the list of what I'm going to do to you. If I fail to find my daughter Rufus, if I fail to find my daughter, you would see. There are moments when your soul is weary. Auntie. Auntie. 
Auntie. Mm -hmm. Auntie, to talk to my mommy. You talked to her before now. What do you want again? What do you want to tell her? Please, now. Oh, please, leave me. Please. I'm coming. Let me call her. Hello? Erita wants to talk to you. Okay. Hello, Erita mommy. Fine. Mommy, where are you? Okay, I just want to tell you something. I just want to tell you I love you. Bye-bye. That's what you wanted to tell her. Pastor Bayo. Thank you. I want to really thank you very much. You see, from what I've been able to read from the tract you gave to me, I have come to realize, Pastor, that uh, the prosperity of the wicked is not a blessing. Mm. I've also come to realize that their end is destruction. Mm. I'm glad you see reason, Chief. Everyone must realize that no matter how long we live here on Earth, it cannot be compared with eternity. We should live to enjoy forever and not for a very short while. Hmm. 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 Pastor, another thing that struck me is that I've come to know that pride compassed them about as a chain and violence covered them like a garment. That pastor, you see, I actually saw myself in that part. You see, because I was this kind of a person that I never gave in to anything. Whoever displeases me, I, I, I strike back. I used my power to destroy or displace anyone that displeases me. That was how I was. I cared little about God, my pastor. Although, uh, like some politicians do, I do go to church just like some other politicians do. But uh, it's just a showcase of, you know, <laughs> things I do once in a while. It's not all the time. I understand you, Chief. Hmm. I hope you know God is calling you to repentance. <laughs> Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We were all as bad as those we call sinners. But some of us realized that. We accepted it. We acknowledged it. And we accepted Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior. That is what made the difference in our lives. Hmm. Pastor, you know the funny thing. I was born into a Christian family. In fact, I'm a Christian. Do you know that my middle name is Samuel? Wow. And that I was baptized at the early age of 11 years. But you see, sometimes I try as much as possible to be guided by my conscience in whatever I do. So I, I don't know what else I can do to become a Christian. Philippians chapter 3 verse 9 mentions righteousness that is not ours, but that was obtained through faith in Christ. That is what can make you a true Christian. You see, our righteousness is described as filthy rags before God. And those cannot save us. It is only by acknowledging our sinful state, confessing it, hmm. confessing it, and asking for forgiveness, leveraging on the death and resurrection of Christ that we can become children of God. You see, in Matthew chapter 7, verse 21, Jesus said, It is not everyone that calls me Lord, Lord, that will enter into the kingdom of God, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. It takes more than bearing a Christian name to be called a Christian. Pastor Bayer, thank you very much. I feel a hollow in my heart. A vacuum. In fact, an empty space. Pastor, since I got here, I've had the time to reflect. And I've come to realize that I don't really have the joy. The real joy, but you are different. Even in this state, I can see the real joy in the inside of you. And that was what first attracted me to you when I saw you. 
Pastor, please, how do I find Christ? How do I find real meaning to my life? Romans 10 verse 9 says that if you will confess Jesus Christ as Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shall be saved. Yes, Pastor. I I'm ready. I'm ready to start anew. Please pray for me. Thank you. Repeat after me. Yes. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I acknowledge that I'm a sinner. I acknowledge that I'm a sinner. And I'm ready to accept you as Lord in my life. I'm ready to accept you as Lord in my life. Forgive me all my sins. Forgive me all my sins. I confess them before you today. I confess them before you today. Accept me as your son. Accept me as your son, O oh God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Congratulations, wow. Chief. Congratulations. Thank you, Pastor. While I was praying for you, I sense in my spirit, it may be difficult to believe. I sense you may not really remain here for much longer. Ah, <sighs> really? Yes. Hmm. Well, I don't know how that may really happen. But if it does, I, I believe I'm going to be grateful to God. Yeah. And I want to believe that I am going to make sure that I propagate the good news to every other person. Oh, fantastic. Oh, God. Mm. I promise that. You will. Thank you. That's the spirit. Thank you, Father. That's the spirit, Chief. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Well, we all have um, all the necessary information now. And uh, we know that one Clifford sent the amount, and the account belongs to a woman. But then, we are yet to know who that woman is. But I assure you, we'll get it done. See, thank you so much. Thank you. Even for this that you have done, I tell you, you have done enough. Thank you. Thank you. You see, maybe later we're going to be finding out who this recipient is or something. Do you get? Mm, but, but right now, I think I have enough evidence to work with. Now, my contact is not telling me who that woman is because it's against his ethics. But notwithstanding, I'll get it done. Well, but for the one way you don't do, thank you. Mm. Me, I appreciate this so much. I tell you the truth mm. that once this is over, oh, yeah. I will remember you. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to remember me, yo. That's we share uh, the management of that money matter. Na here a day. The man just the arranger. Ah, ah. You know now. Nah. You, you, you know, you know the change. I go change now. Nah. Ever since you, I don't know you now. Nah. This money, money thing you dey pursue all around. All around. Of course, of course <laughs> I don't need change. Thanks, eh. Yeah, Baba. Thanks. You know it is over. Let me take you to the restaurant. Yeah, move, move, move. <laughs> Well, I hope you understand the reason why I asked us to meet discreetly like this. Yeah, of course I do. I wouldn't want my husband to see us together either. He will know something is happening. And uh, he has not been fond of you lately. Really? Why? I really don't know. But I discovered he criticizes all that you do in church of recent. <laughs> A backslider will be filled with his own ways. Proverbs 14, verse 14. How do you mean, sir? <laughs> Your suspicions are right because uh, we discovered that your husband is in connection with a woman. And um, I must tell you the truth that um, of recent, um, he sent a sum of two million to that woman's account. I knew it! I knew it! Some months back, he forced me to sign a check of two million naira for him from our joint account. That he wanted to use it for a business. But he refused to divulge the information about the business. Oh, so this is what he wanted to do with the money. Ha! Ah. Oh my God. Who is this strange woman? Uh, you know what? We are, not, we are not yet sure about who the woman is or maybe your husband has an affair with, you know, one woman or, or something. Again, mm. we've not yet ascertained that right now. Ah, so what do I do? I wouldn't want to embarrass him in public. I don't want to dent, dent his image. Image? I'm sorry. 
after this, there will be no more images to protect. You see, you, see, you better arise to the, you know, to the occasion right now to save your husband and your home. Don't wait until the deed is done. You are very right, sir. I need to act fast. I need to act fast. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. See, I give God all the glory. And it's my pleasure. But the truth is, is that uh, I would advise that you, you know, fight earnestly to save your home at this time. Okay. Even if you need to report to the church authority. Okay. But please don't mention my name. Mm. All right. I wouldn't want my good to be evil spoken of. Uh, okay, After all, I'm, I'm only saving a fellow servant of God. No problem mm -hmm. about that. Thank you so much, sir. Good. You will help me do the dirty part of the job. All right. Can you please drop me off? Please? Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Your Excellency. Chief Jaye, you're finally here. Your Excellency. Chief Jaye. Good to see you again, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> wow. Jaye, Jaye, will you just let us forget about this, uh, His Excellency or No Excellency? And let us just talk normally. It's just you and I here. We do not grow up talking about this. Just forget that. That's the official later. It's you and I now. Uh, Your Excellency, the Bible requires that we give respect to whom respect is due. The Bible? Yes, I know that we have been childhood friends, but notwithstanding, you are my boss now. Eh? So I need to give you that respect. <laughs> you know what, Jai? I know you are hot, and you probably expected much from me as a friend because of what happened that led to the prison issue. Look, there's nothing I, I, I would have done. I can't do anything. You know, I can't just step in and do anything because, you know, the opposition party, most of them or whatever, just were sent to jail because of their illegal acts. If I do anything at that time, they'll believe that I just want to step in because you're my friend. And I won't do that. You know what I stand for? Ah, Your Excellency, I quite understand. There was nothing you would have been able to do to free me. And uh, I want you to know one thing. It will, it will look as if you are going against the law of the land. That knowledge did not ease the guilt I felt. Sending my own best friend to prison. You mm. understand what I'm saying? Now I'm seriously ashamed of my inactions. I'm ashamed of my inactions. Seriously. Believe me, the Commissioner for Justice discovered the malicious acts of fraud in which you have been convicted wrongly. Mm. 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 Concerning the Halifax project. Mm. Your signature was forged. Mm. And, you know, from different accounts, money were being taken that is not even related to your account. This was discovered after you have been jailed. Wow. Hmm. Sir, like I told you, I don't hold any grudge against you. I don't. And besides, there was nothing you would have done to free me. And uh, sir, I want you to know one thing that my temporary sojourn in the, in the prison was actually a blessing and not the loss. How? <sighs> Sir, you may not understand. 
Sir, so in the prison, I found love. I found peace of mind. I found joy. What are you talking about? I want to say this, sir, that it was in the prison that I was reconciled to my maker. Sir, I am now a born-again Christian. Jaye, <laughs> Jaye. You are now a born-again what? A born-again Christian? Yes. Oh, my God. So prison can reset brains. <laughs> Jaye. Are you serious about this? Or the adversity pushed you to the extreme? Now you are telling me you are a born-again Christian. Born-again. Born-again fire. <laughs> Guys, come on, for, stop all this thing. I, I, I'm not in for all these games. <laughs> I told you that you may not understand, sir. I told you. Uh, you may not understand. Well, well I, I know. I've not been to prison before, but I know that prison will reset brains. <laughs> Maybe prison will reset your brain, man. <laughs> but, like, seriously, I'm very sorry. Well, the choice is yours to make. I'm glad that you're back right now, and thanks for the understanding. But uh, I believe you must have been briefed that... Uh, uh, you have been as you are discharged and acquainted now you have been reinstated as the honorable commissioner for special projects you know and uh, all money that you are entitled to before you went to prison during that period will be fully paid back to you and you just resume your position back jaye jaye i i am delighted sir i have been briefed hmm. yes i have been briefed uh, by the way sir how is the family I mean, the, your wife, Her Excellency. She's fine. She's and good. my beautiful and wonderful daughter. Hmm. My wife is fine. She's fine. But my daughter, her health has been deteriorating day wow. by day. You know, she's even now at the old state house. You don't have to be careful with all these bloggers. Yes. They can blow anything out of proportion. Yes, I understand. But this breaks me down. Hmm. I don't know what to do again. She's not, she's not just, uh, she's not getting better. She's getting worse, day by day. Hmm. I don't understand. Jaye, yes, the sir. only daughter of mine. Sir, I want you to calm down. I believe God will heal her. Amen. God will take you of our ailments. I believe so. I hope so. Thank you very much. Let's just put our trust in God. I believe so. Ah, I one day. Yeah. not beyond control. We just need to add prayers to whatever we do here. Um, it appears the seemingly insignificant wound inflicted on her womb when she attempted suicide is the reason for the pain. Yeah. So, Doctor, what is going to happen now? Well, we've given her all necessary medications. We just need to watch and see how it unfolds in the next couple of days. <sighs> All right. She'll be fine. Thank you, Doctor. All right. I really appreciate you. You're welcome. God bless you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
What are we going to do now, dear? Good day, gentlemen. Good day, sir. Yes, I need to see His Excellency. His Excellency? Yes. It's all done, sir. Thank you. Your Excellency, sir. Chief Jaya is here to see you. Ask him to wait. All right, sir. I'll be with him shortly. All right, sir. Ha. Ah. Your Excellency. Chief Jaya. I left the office immediately I heard about it. Please, what happened? What actually happened? Well, the information I gathered was that she suddenly started screaming. And all effort to stop her proved her abortive. Hmm. And when I got here, after a while, she stopped screaming. Fact. I don't know what to do. The doctor even said, her pulse is weak. Wow. Hmm. Sir, what do you intend to do now? What do you want me to do? The only option here mm. is for me to fly her abroad. There's nothing <clears throat> else I can do than to fly her abroad. I see. Uh, but sir, I, I am not against you flying her abroad. But can you please remember that I told you about the man I met in the prison? The man that led me to Christ. The pastor? Yes, sir. What about it? <sighs> Sir, I, I would have loved if we invite him to come and pray for your daughter. I believe something will have happened. God will use him to do something, sir. Chief Jai, yes. I don't think you understand anything anymore. What is your problem, Chief Jai? Since you came back from prison, you have been giving me very rubbish advice. <laughs> Wrong advice. Now, you want me to bring a pastor who was convicted for rape and at the same time, indecent character. This pastor now should be seen around me. What will the public say? What will the opposition pastor say? What are you saying? It's uh, Sir, with all due respect, sir. The man in question is actually a man of God. He's indeed a minister of God. Sir, I, 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 I don't want her to look at it from this angle. I've had an interaction with this man, and I want to believe that God is going to use him to heal your daughter. And besides, the most important thing now is let him do what God wants him to do, and I'm sure that your daughter will be okay. I promise that I will bring him out from the prison and return him back to the prison. Please, Your Excellency, let's give it a try. There's no harm in doing that, sir. From what I heard, you mentioned to the police that Pastor Bright actually helped you in the time of need. How did it happen? Uh, now, one kind of time where my mother sick, I come the back for streets. Now, Pastor Bayo and him people came. They come preach to me. He say, make I collect Jesus. I can't say, I go collect. He say, he go help me. That I fit work for in house. It was in the news that you confessed that Pastor Pio never raped you. He, he no raped me, yo. he no raped me. Uh, now when Madame, they uh, give him problem for the house, now, in come see me one day, say, at the Thai rapper, he come look me with one kind eyes. And he no do anything. He come remove his hand as if uh, electric shock him. He no do anything. Mm -hmm. And a shoulders to me. Dark moment when well, our friends are gone. Things are not the way they used to be. No friends to go. 
no one should have stolen. Look on God from him alone, your strength comes. Thank you, Jesus. Father, Lord, we give you praise. Over this little girl, we give you praise. Lord, we thank you because you are the one that said you sent forth your word and it healed them from all their diseases. So, Father, I stand on the authority of your word this day. In the name of Amen. Jesus. Lord, we speak peace into her system in the name of Amen. Jesus. Lord God Almighty, where he that today has been pains, Father, we ask that peace comes in the name of Jesus. Amen. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, we speak the healing power of Jesus to flow through in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, Father, we speak peace to her system. In the name of Jesus, we speak peace to you, little girl. We speak peace to you in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Peace. What else? Is that her? She's fine, sir. You shall soon rejoice over her full recovery. Yes. Chief Jai, this prayer is not even up to 15 minutes. What is this drama all about now? <laughs> Your Excellency, sir, whether a prayer is answered or not, is not dependent on the longevity of the prayers. All we need is to back it up with faith. Jesus speaking in the book of Matthew chapter 17 and verse 20 says, if we have faith, nothing shall be impossible unto us. Absolutely nothing. I think we are done here. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Chief Jair, thank you for coming. Mom, I need water. Sweetheart, she said she needs water. Oh, Jesus, ah, thank water. you, Lord. Water! You need water? Please get water. I didn't see what I what I what I I miss you. I miss you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Please help me with water. Thank you, Jesus. He wants water. Lord, want water. He wants water. Thank you, Father, for proving yourself. Lord, we're grateful. Pastor, thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. Ah, we're very happy. Thank you, sir. Ah, your God bless you. Amen, sir. Thank you, thank you. How can we appreciate you for this? I did not do anything, Your Excellency. My God did everything. Yeah, I know that uh, uh, people like you don't want to get anything like from us. But no matter how small, just try and understand. Drop your account number to Chief Jai. That, that will not be necessary, Your Excellency. Look, let me clear you on one thing. I don't steal public fund. It's my money. My personal money. And I chose to appreciate you. Give you a token out of it. Please accept it from us. You know? That is not what I mean, sir. Um, all I'm trying to say is, whatever you want to give, give it to God. It is God that did everything. Give all that you want to give to me. Apportion it to our God. Even your life, sir. Give it to God. You know what? I still want to now we tell you right now. I think you should accept this from me. Very soon I'll be doing an amnesty program. And uh, I will make sure your name is number one on the amnesty list. So please, please just ask, accept that from us. So at least your God himself will want you free. So you can have your freedom again. Mm, I would have seriously appreciated this, Your Excellency. But the ways of God are not the ways of men. Yes. Um, if my God wants me to be released, he would orchestrate it and bring me out. The Bible in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 11 says, God makes all things beautiful in its time. So when the time is, Ripe, the Lord will bring me out, sir. Mm -hmm. I am. 
Is there anything the matter? What's going on? Yeah, uh, Your Excellency, he needs to go back to the prison because he's the one leading the fellowship in the prison. Uh, Are you saying that he's not going to collect money? <laughs> Even Amnesty doesn't want. Your Excellency, he has to follow the doctrines of the Bible. I told you earlier that this is a true man of God. But he's a rapist. <sighs> Uh, I don't want to believe that that is true. He was roped into that offense, and I believe that my God will vindicate him. But you mean, even both of you, even you, you don't want the money? He won't accept it, and it's neither okay. will I. Neither will I. He won't want amnesty. It's all right, the way. Okay. It's all right. Thank you. Thank you, Excellency. Thank you, Excellency. Oh, you can go. Thank you very Thank much. You, Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Yeah. So, You're welcome. Your Excellency, I, I need to go along with it. I'm taking him back to you. Yes, make sure you get him back to the prison. No problem. Okay. He doesn't want money. I'm missing him, you no. Know. Then how did he find himself in this problem? All the friends are gone. Things are not the way they used to be. No friends to go home, no shoulders to lean. You can't get from him alone, your strength comes. Hi, Lily. You're a your soul is weary. Well, our friends are gone. What are you still doing up at this time? So disturbed. Very disturbed. Disturbed about what? This issue of pastor that is in the prison. The pastor in the prison. I offered him money as an appreciation. He said no. Amnesty, no. What does he want me to do? The amnesty program that we are talking about, let's grant him amnesty. I can't still manage this situation that I can't sleep. Knowing fully well that somebody that God used, used to heal her daughter, is in the prison. And my hands are tight here. I, I just need to do something. I know I need to do something. Sweetheart, I know you. I know you so well. If you really decide to do something, you do not need any other person's approval. So if truly you feel like helping the guy out of that prison, I know you know how to go about it. Really? Oh, yes. I don't get that. I wouldn't do that. I don't get. Let me tell you the truth. Is that I would give this guy money. 
or he accepts that amnesty program. But Look, he doesn't want any of the two. And then I can't go, I can't use any media, any 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 kind of strange way to do that. Sweetheart, you don't want to do that. Sweetheart, you know how to go about it. I know you. No. Listen, woman. If I go through that route, mm. opposition party also will come with their list. You know, not quite long. Some people were sent to jail because of their embezzlements. They embezzled state fund and all that. And they were sent to prison. Now, if we release this man, they also will come for that. Okay, we've started releasing criminals. And by the time we, they will just tell me that this administration is releasing criminals. And before you know, there is no integrity again in service. We both know this guy is not a criminal. But you can say that. And what if they say, okay, if this guy has not prayed for our daughter, that the, our daughter is being, well, are we going to grant him amnesty? So the, I'm just disturbed. I can't do anything about it. He's not making this thing easy for me. It's okay. It's okay, baby. Yes. Let's leave the prisoner in the prison. It's time to go to bed. Yeah. yeah. This way. This way. There this are, way. There are, two, mm? there are two prisoners now. Yeah, just let's go. It's okay. <sighs> Shikete Yelebaha, Rekataba. The Bible says our soul has escaped as bird from the snare of the flower. The snare is broken and we have escaped. In Bruku Shikatabaha, because we belong to Zion. And scripture says that those that stay in Zion shall not be weaker, they shall be stronger, they shall do exploit. In the name of Jesus, that your presence will rest in our home. In the name of Jesus, you said said in your word that you will go with us, us and everything will be fine with us. No Lord, we ask, oh God, nothing missing, nothing broken. For our soul has escaped as birth from the snail of the flower. The Bible says, when the enemy comes like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will raise his standard up. Over us, raise his standard up. Over my wife, over my children. Father, we ask, O God, in the name of Shah, that your presence will dwell in our home. In the name of Jesus, you said in your word, in Exodus 33, verse 14, that you will go with us. Your presence will rest with our home, and you will grant us rest, and everything will be fine with us. Everything will be fine with my wife, everything will be fine with my babies. In the name of Jesus, rete masuta ya la baba hashta, ete tene na mosha, reka bosi kata ya la baba hashta ya, empa no soto yegele bosi yata, reke tene na mosha. You said in your word in Genesis 28 verse 14 that you will not leave us until you have fulfilled your promise in our life. Father, we ask, oh God, reke tene mosha by your mercy, you will satisfy us early. In the name of Jesus. Your poor there promise uh, will no come to fulfillment. Uh, no our desires uh, shall be granted uh, by your Lord will. Uh, Ray, it shall be done. Uh. Dear, say something now. What is it? You know why I'm here. It's still about the same thing we've been talking about. You let me at home, sweetheart. You let you walked out on me just because of this guy. I said this guy is innocent. The eh? pastor? Of course, the pastor. Only this guy helped us with our daughter. I have other pressing things to deal with. Can you just save me the edict of this pastor? And let's talk of, about something, some other thing. Like? Something important. This we are talking about, I don't have time for it. Why are you being impossible? Try to listen to me now. Only you have this thing in you. Do this thing, I beg. Do it. Listen to me. If you have forgotten, I will remind you. This man, I offered him money. I told him I don't steal public funds. My own, out of my savings, I am offering him that money. He said no, turned me down. I offered him amnesty. That he would be the number one on the list for amnesty in this state. He said no, what do you want me to do? Cut my head off for him? No. no. I know, you don't have to cut your head off for him. But what I'm saying is you don't need his permission to do something for him. Why are you asking him what to do for him? When you can actually do it within your power. That's what I'm asking for and I don't think it's too much to ask. Integrity what? is my watchword in this administration. What are we talking about? I will not do anything. I will not overturn judgment. I'm not asking you to overturn judgment. He's a criminal. You, you, you heard it. I've been following his proceedings for crying out loud. This 
sky is not a rapist. It was set up. It was drugged. But they were unable to prove it at the court of law. Oh my God. I can't overturn judgment. Okay, listen to this. The guy was about confessing at the church before the police came to, 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 to arrest him. Hear yourself. Confess to what? Confess that he's a rapist. Have you ever seen a criminal confess on his own? There? Criminals are always criminals. Now, listen. He said that his God will release him at the appointed time. Let me tell you one thing. This God they are talking about, I don't know him that much. That God also is reasonable. He might look at it like he has raped one. Before he started to rape two, three, four, he kept him in the prison. Where he will not see ladies. Maybe his calling is not, uh, he does not admit ladies around his own. I don't know how to put it. I don't know how to say it. His calling might not be for ladies. It might be for men in the prison. Let him be prison. Let him do prison ministry. So our girls will be safe in our state. Let us thank God that our daughter is healed. Yeah? Let the man remain in the prison. I feel he's calling in the prison. So our girls will be safe in the state. Thank you. His Excellency, why are you speaking like you are a saint? Have I raped before? Do you have to rape before? Is rape the only sin in the Bible? No. So what are we talking about? But he has confessed. You don't know. Don't threaten me now. I'm not threatening you. And you know what I'm capable of doing. Use your office to release that guy. I won't. Ha, babe, you will. I won't. Babe, you will. You I know. I won't. I won't overturn justice. You will overturn justice, babe. You will do it. What's all this rubbish? The man said he doesn't want freedom. Is it by force? At least let the man be in the prison. There's something God would have... Please. ADC, please. Brethren, I want to welcome you to this meeting and um, I promise that it's going to be a very brief meeting. I am pleased to announce to you that um, following the exploit Pastor Bayo Bright is doing at the state correction facility, the state government had finally approved our letter for permission to engage in um, prison evangelism. <laughs> The Lord be praised. Our first visit is going to be Tuesday next week by the grace of God. So i like to ask, how many of you would be willing to join other brethren from the church for the prison evangelism? Pastor Clifford? Yeah, I am happy that every one of us is ready to be part of this great move. And I'm trusting God that God will use this to lay to rest all the storms that the devil had raised against the church in Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, I want to thank you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus. Daddy. Oreolua. Oreolua, my daughter. How are you? I'm fine, sir. And you? Well, I'm doing well. So, um, how is your baby? She's fine, my princess. Oh. <laughs> it's a girl. To God be the glory. And um, how is your husband, Moyo? He's doing great. He sends his regards. Oh. I extend mine too to him and particularly thank him for his visit the last time. I will. We are praying for your freedom. Thank you. Um. So, sir, how did the prison evangelism go? Yeah, it went well. It was very fine. Fantastic. And uh, I just kept wondering how life is treating Pastor Bayo in the, in the prison. Judging by the weakness he exhibited when he was a free man, 
I think uh, the prison will help him overcome the weakness and ultimately help him to make heaven when he was a free man. <laughs> you can say that again, sir. At least there are no women there to tempt him. <laughs> I'm sure he's doing fine. <laughs> well, uh, I think that was the same man they were trying to push forward as a new general of it's, 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 it's very disgusting. Uh, one thing I know for sure is that God will never allow the wrong ruler to rule over his people. Mm, mm, ah. <laughs> Even if there are many of them like that, mm. he will kick them out of the way just to pave way for his anointed. And I'm sure that they will end up where they belong, like Pastor Wire. Amen. But, but, but my brother, you see that uh, God has been telling you that there are still some other people like Pastor Bayo in the church? <laughs> Sir, we see in part, I will prophesy in part. There are many ministers who are leading a double life. Hmm. There's, there's a home known to the public and there is another one kept secret from the public. God will expose all of them in the name of Jesus. You are right, my brother. You are right. There are even some pastors who are doing the unthinkable on the threshold of the house of God. Can you be that? Such will not go unpunished. God will not allow them to go unexposed. Yes, God will expose all of them and all of them will end up where Pastor Bayo is. Amen. Amen. Sir, I, I need to get something from the vestry. Your game is up, you hypocrite. Just wait and see. Only God eliminates you for me. No other contender is strong enough to stand in my way. Your time is up, you Ibudua. Just wait and see how soon you will become Bios assistant evangelist in the prison. Once you are gone, my enthronement as the next Geo is imminent. Well done, sir. Thank you, Mrs. Uh, Cole. I was surprised when you said you wanted to see my must see me in a secluded place. It's so surprising. I even said I should come and see you in your office. You said that no, that you uh, just want uh, to see me. Uh, yes, I, I have to say that. I ask you to come to a secluded place because of the sensitivity of what I want to see. Sensitivity? Yes. But, sir, I hope all is well, sir. <laughs> All is very well. Uh, I just want you to take a look at this this picture. Ah, uh -uh. this is Juliet. <laughs> and Pastor Rufus, or what is his name? How come? How oh, come? How did you get all this? Wait, Pastor, what is wait, the meaning wait, of this? Ah, where is my phone? This man was rotting here. Wait. Eh, ah, wait, wait, I'm even coming. Wait, 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 ah, wait. I'm not waiting, no. I'm not waiting. Wait. I just need to wait, call. Wait. This, ah, what, will, what, what, what are we going to call this? Wait, oh. Mrs. Cole, wait. 
Oh my God! Wait, eh, that innocent girl. Come, ah, God. If I want, if I want to call, I would have called the police myself. But I just want you to see. I am the right. mother. I have the right to call. Yes, you have, I the, have right the right to call. to call. There is a better way to read now, not just this. Oh. This is just the only evidence you have, isn't it? It's more. Ah, it's more than evidence. Wait, let me it's... teach you what to do. Ah. No this is wonder. what this is what we are oh, going Jesus. no wonder what now no wonder the girl says she doesn't want to go to him again okay ah. this is what we are going to do now after leaving this place make sure you get home you ask your girl this question again all right if possible tell her you saw what you have just seen okay now, this is what the Lord will want you to do in this case, okay? Jesus. Evil must be exposed. Do you understand? Oh. All evil must be exposed, especially in the household of faith. We must always expose hypocrites for who they are. So after exposing them, are. what are we going to do? There is a way to, to go about the, the exposition. Oh. Oh. Wait. Now, this is what you are going to do. This is us. This is, that is it. Stupid man. Stop. Come back here. Stop. Come Don't back here. Let me see. You, I trusted you move. with my daughter. What? What? Everybody will know. Move. You. Move. You of all people. Everybody will know. Move. You. Move. You will not in jail. You think you are wise. Stupid man. Let him enter. Let him enter. Everybody move. will know. Rapist. Rapist. Enter, enter, enter. Let's go. You will rot in jail. But her friends are gone. And her shoulders to me. This court finds you guilty of child molestation and sexual assault. You are hereby sentenced to 10 years imprisonment with hard labor. I rise. are not the way that used to be no friends to go home no